Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I brought for you 25 movies about pandemics and virus outbreaks. And I'm not saying that this is inspired by the recent events that fill us with terror and insomnia. But I'm saying that if you happen to relate to that feeling, here's a list of movies about virus outbreaks to get you through it. Number 25, we have The Seventh Seal, 1957. If you haven't seen Imar Bergman's masterpiece, drop everything and do it now. If only so you can finally understand the context for half the jokes in Bill and Ted's progress journey. Set during the Black Death Plague of 1300s, the film centers on a knight who encounters the Angel of Death and the game of chess they play for his soul. On number 24, we have The Last Man on Earth, 1964. Number 23, The Omega Man, 1971. And number 22, I Am Legend, 2007. Richard Matheson's 1954 novel, I Am Legend, inspired three very different eruptions. All they have in common is that a plague wiped out most of humanity and thus survivors, save the main character, have been turned into essentially vampires. Will Smith's 2007 film kept the title but removed pretty much everything related to the book's big twist. Wilson Price's charming 1964 film preserves the plot best but has the lowest budget but we are most partial to Charlton Heston's Ultra Heavy 1971 film. Number 21, we have the Andromeda Strain 1971. Based on the Michael Crichton's novel, the film follows scientists investigating an infectious organism that fell to Earth from space. We will spoil the ending by telling you they mostly save the day, so relax. Notable for some very innovative cinematography, this film is very amazing. Number 20, Dawn of the Dead 1978 and Number 19, Dawn of the Dead the 2004 remake. George Romero's 1978 classic isn't just a clever satire of consumerism, it's also a look at how the zombie apocalypse functions like a plague. And while Zack Snyder's action plague remake ditched the satire, it actually expanded the disease element. Both are perfect to watch when you want your global pandemics fictional. Number 18. Outbreak 1995 When any viral disease breaks out in a small American town, CDC scientists race against the time to stop it from spreading. Unfortunately, they also have to deal with the bloodthirsty army general who wants the virus for a bioweapon and is determined to prevent a cure. This absurd plot was inspired by a celebrated non-fiction history of viruses like Ebola. On number 17, we have 12 Monkeys 1995. Terry Gilliam's sci-fi classic stars Bruce Willis as a time traveler sent back to 1990s. Identify the origin of a global pandemic that nearly wiped out humanity. The portrayal of our world just before and long after the near end of civilization is harrowing. Luckily, the crazed eco-terrorist wannabe played by Brad Pitt provides much needed comic relief. Number 16, Cabin Fever 2002. Eli Roth's directorial debut follows a group of recent college graduates who become infected with the flesh-eating virus during a camping trip. It was remade in 2016, but neither version makes camping look any more appealing. From number 15 to number 10, we have six Resident Evil franchise movies. The only things you need to know about this multi-film franchise based on the Capcom video games is that an evil corporation creates a virus that turns most of humanity into zombies. Mila Jovovich kicks a lot of ass and it's a go-to for seriously awesome actors looking for a paycheck jobs. They don't have to be embarrassed about it. It's great. On number 9 we have 28 days later, 2003. 
and on number 8 is its sequel 28 weeks later 2007 and Danny Ball's excellent 2003 original and its very superior sequel directed by Juan Carlos. The world is beset by a viral pandemic that turns anyone infected into permanently enraged beasts. Don't call them zombies but oh they totally are. Number 7 we have Carriers 2009. In this apocalyptic drama, four friends who survived a global pandemic road trip to a place they can hopefully live in peace. Spoiler, things don't really work out, but it has Chris Pine, Emily Van Camp, Christopher Meloni and Piper Parabo, plus Karen Shipka in one of her earliest pre madman roles. Number 6 we have Blindness 2008 Based on the Portuguese novel by Jose Saramago, the film looks at what happens when the world is hit by a pandemic that renders people blind. Worth it for the cast alone which includes Julian Moore, Mark Ruffalo, Gail Garcia Bernal, Danny Glover and Alice Braga. On number 5 is Black Death 2010. Shane Bean gets in a warm-up session of his career defining role as Ned Stark here as a leader of a group of knights searching for a heretic during the 14th century plague. Eddie Redmayne plays a monk who accompanies the knights. Fun fact, Carrie Van Houten also gets in a Game of Thrones warm-up playing a scheming maybe maybe not a witch. Number 4 we have Perfect Sense 2011 A strange disease has afflicted the earth, depriving people of their sense of smell and taste, initially then spreading further. At this time a chef Michael played by Yvonne McGregor and a scientist Susan played by Eva Green start a relationship. On number 3 we have Rise of the Planet of Apes 2011. The reboot of the 1960s 70s Planet of the Apes series is anchored by a truly exceptional mock-up performance from Andy Serkis as the super intelligent chimp Caesar. It's in this list because Caesar gets his brain power from an experimental viral based Alzheimer's treatment which unfortunately mutates into a deadly pathogen that kills billions of humans. On number 2 we have Contagion 2011. You might recognize this as the Steven Soderbergh film where Gwyneth Paltrow dies horribly from a deadly new virus. It's also a smart thriller about how diseases spread. The difficulty in finding a cure and the way conspiracy theorists and incompetent or malicious authorities can make it worse. I know this is getting too real but what can I say? This is what's in the movie. Before getting to number 1 of our list, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and share the video. So number 1 is World War Z 2013. If you love the fictional horror history, written by Max Brooks of how humanity narrowly survived a zombie apocalypse. You will kind of like this in name only adoption directed by Mark Forrester.
Brad Pitt plays a UN worker racing against time to discover the origins of a sudden global zombie pandemic. Who still takes time to make damn sure product placement contracts are fulfilled? Wait, 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 where are you going? I have a surprise for you. I have another movie to give you. Here is one honorable mention Hackers 1995. We saved the absolute best for last. It's not just a surprisingly great 90s artifact about computer geeks fighting an evil corporate techie with a dope soundtrack and a cast packed with virtual unknowns who would go on to huge fame and acclaim, including Wendell Pierce, Lauren Bracco, Matthew Lillard, Johnny Lee Miller, and Angelina Jolie. It's also a movie about a virus outbreak. Okay, okay, a computer virus, but after all, the death you saw in those other movies. Hey girls is a welcome and much needed fun time. Thank you for watching the video. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share my video. Stay at home and stay safe.